All right, let's talk about the parallel execution of the spec flow code with Playwright. We already know that Playwright driver by itself is an asynchronous in nature and it can be executed in parallel as well. In order to do that, we need to somehow change our code or the test runner to tell that this code has to be executed in parallel. Well, the way we can do it is using the end in its own parallelizable fixture and that's what we are going to be using this time. So in order to demonstrate the parallel execution, we are going to copy this feature file into two feature files. I'm going to name this as probably one, something like that. And then over here, I'm just going to say one, and I'm just going to add one in the suffix of both the test so that it can be more like a, a different test basically. And now if I try rebuilding the solution, you will see that there will be two tests basically. And now if I try executing this code, if I go to the unit test over here, and let's also try making the test to pass because it's failing at the moment. So I'm gonna make this as true. And if I go to the hook, and then if I run the test, you will see that it is going to run the test first like this, and the test has got passed. And let's go to the this test, and if I execute this test, you will see that the test is actually executing and it is passing as well. And now if I want to run both these tests in parallel, I'm just going to select this whole project and then I'm going to run the selected unit tests. You will see that it is going to first run one test, which is the first test, and then it is going to run the second test. So this is like a sequential test execution. We wanted this execution to be in parallel. We don't want to run them like sequential at the moment. Like how do we parallelize this test execution? Well, the way we can do it is with the help of the hooks. Well, if I'm just going to go to the hooks file, because this is the first file which is going to be encountered in specflow while it is executing. And if I now try to execute this in parallel, this will start executing in parallel. So the way I can make this to work in parallel or execute in parallel is by adding what is called as an assembly of parallelizable attribute. And after that, I'm going to open a braces and you'll see that it's going to bring me up all the different way that you can actually do the parallelizable, like parallelizable scope of the all children's fixture, none self context mask and item mask. Well, I'm going to go with the fixtures because I wanted to run two features files in parallel execution. That's what I'm going to be choosing over here. And now if I try executing the test, like pretty much like the, how we were executing before, you will see that both the tests are executing in parallel at the moment. So they're not running in sequence anymore. They are running in parallel. So that's the way that you can make the test to execute in parallel. And you'll also see that even though they are running in parallel, there is no problem with our driver object sharing, something like that, because we have made use of the driver pattern and each and every single step definition file is going to get a separate context of the driver object and it is going to be completely parallel as well which is super cool so that's the way we could able to run our tests in parallel in the spec flow world now next video we'll talk about how we can generate a report in the spec flow